In this video, we present you the basic operation of a belt tensioner for the Gates carbon drive system. The belt tensioner makes it possible to use a belt drive on bikes with rear suspension. This means that the advantages of a maintenance-free Gates carbon drive system can also be experienced on full suspension bikes, from cargo bikes to mountain bikes. When a full suspension bicycle is compressed, the distance between the front and rear pulley changes continuously. Without compensation for this change in length, the use of the belt drive would not be possible. The task of the Gates belt tensioner is therefore to compensate for this change in length, one-to-one, -one, in order to ensure the appropriate belt tension at all times over the entire suspension travel. Only in this way can the Gates carbon drive work reliably and efficiently. The belt is tensioned by the roller wheel, and the roller wheel is pre-tensioned by a spring. During compression, the distance between the rear axle and the bottom bracket axle increases continuously, and the roller wheel moves downward in parallel to compensate for the change in length. Thus, the belt tension on a full suspension bicycle is built up exclusively by the spring-loaded belt tensioner. Also, the belt itself must not represent a spring deflection limitation. This limitation must be provided by the fully compressed damper. The belt tension in the fully compressed state is tested with the spring tension tester. Important notes. The setup of the Gates belt tensioner system should only be carried out by a specialist workshop. A modified, incorrect setting can significantly affect the performance of the drive. The belt tensioner system is ideally adapted to the bicycle by the manufacturer. A change of the drive components must always be aligned with the manufacturer's specifications. The belt length and the transmission ratio must be precisely matched to the spring deflection behavior of the bicycle. If there are sliding dropouts on the bicycle, these are specifically not intended for tensioning the belt. The use of a snubber is strongly recommended. This helps protect the belt from skipping to ensure the best performance of the Gates carbon drive system. You can find a video about this in our channel. Conversion options On bikes without sliding dropouts, it is not possible to change the gear ratio provided by the manufacturer. On bikes with sliding dropouts, different gear ratios can be achieved. Likewise, a model change of the rear shock can be made in some cases. However, it is important to note that due to the changed position in the rear wheel, make sure that the tire does not collide with the seat tube when fully compressed and the belt is not overstretched. If necessary, the change to a rear shock with a different installation dimension or stroke is required. But beware, please only do this in consultation with the manufacturer and their approval. The conversion should be done by a competent person. After many years of intensive development work and material optimization, Gates has now succeeded in using the belt drive in full suspension bicycles. For more technical videos about the Gates carbon drive system, subscribe to our channel. Feel free to ask questions in the comments. Your team from Universal Transmissions.